In this video, we're going to talk about why you've got nothing to wear. We're also going to talk about some of the mistakes that you might be making in creating a capsule wardrobe, or perhaps why you look in your wardrobe and you're bored with it. So stick with me because I've got lots of tips coming for you. I'm going to show you some simple solutions to make sure that you've got plenty to wear in your wardrobe and also bust some myths about creating a capsule wardrobe that you will have been seeing everywhere online. Okay, so here's why you've got nothing to wear. If you open your wardrobe doors and this is what you see, you've immediately got a problem. What is the problem? Okay, if I look at these pieces in here, it looks like nothing goes with anything. What on earth am I going to put that red top with? What am I going to put that with other than the matching trousers? So if you're like me and you're a bit of a print lover, it may be that you see a print, you fall in love with it and you add it to your wardrobe. Now the problem with that is when you've got a whole load of prints, you've got nothing to mix them with. Yes, you can mix some prints together. You've seen um, in my last video that I mix spots and stripes in the same colourway, so I actually put a red spotted scarf um, with this uh, Breton top. Now, of course you can do that and you can clash some prints. It takes a little bit of creativity and I know that a lot of people don't have the confidence to do that. The other thing um, that you'll see here is the plain pieces that I've got in here, again, are coloured. So, some of these pieces will mix and match together, I can do that, but, I'm going to have a little bit of trouble in creating too many outfits out of this little collection of clothes that I've got here. So, for example, those trousers which I bought last summer, yes, I love them, and I have worn them with that shirt. Of course, I can wear them with that top again, which I've had for years, and I could put them with that striped top as well. So I have got a few bits that I can mix those trousers with. Now equally, this skirt that I bought in the autumn, I can mix it with this little blouse because it's got that same sort of deep, um, plummy, um, damson-y colour in the print of it. So I have got one option that I can do with that. And it will actually go with this Breton striped top again. I haven't worn it like that, but I'm gonna dress the skirt down a little bit with that T-shirt and perhaps a pair of trainers. So that will take me into the spring. But as I said, there's not an awful lot here that I can create outfits with. So what do I need to do to fix that? Well, it's very simple. If you look at this, we've got a lot of print and we've got a lot of color. What we need is a few neutrals in here. And this is where I'm going to bust that first myth about creating a capsule wardrobe. Because recently I've seen online, because it's spring, lots of people are doing about a spring capsule wardrobe. And what you're seeing is something like this. I'm gonna put a picture in here. It's a rail full of neutral pieces. So in a lot of examples, they've got things like a white t-shirt, a black t-shirt, and maybe a striped t-shirt. They've got a cream jacket, they've got a navy jacket, they've got navy trousers, white trousers, a pair of jeans. Oh my God, how boring is that? If that is your complete spring capsule wardrobe. I'm sorry to be blunt, but there is no personality in that. So yes, of course, you do need neutrals in your wardrobe. And I actually talk about creating a core capsule wardrobe, which does have neutrals in it, but that shouldn't be the only thing that's in your wardrobe. And I watched a video um, a few days ago about creating a capsule wardrobe, and um, I won't say whose video it was, but she basically said that 90% of your wardrobe should be three colours. And that should be, you know, maybe a cream, maybe a navy and one other, one other colour. And um, 
That's fine, but that's probably why you're really bored with your wardrobe. If that's what you're doing and that's what you're following because you go out or you see online something that's pretty and patterned like this or like this and you think, okay, I've got really bored with just wearing neutrals all the time and I want to put some print in there or I want to put some colour in there. So you buy one piece and that one piece stands out. Now, if you do have a wardrobe full of neutrals, chances are that you are going to be able to fit that one piece in. But one piece isn't really going to make your wardrobe that exciting. So if this is my wardrobe, which it is, and I've got lots of print and colour in here, what I need to do is add in a few neutrals. So the first thing that I would do is I would look at these pieces and see, is there a common denominator here? And in fact, yes, there is. Because if I look at this shirt, it's got cream in it. If I look at this, it's got a sort of creamy stone in it. Um, this has got cream in it. This has got cream in it. This has got sort of an off-white cream in it. So immediately I can see that if I add some cream pieces in here, especially now we're coming into spring, that's going to make a lot of these pieces work. Now to do that, what you want to do is add maybe three pieces in cream, a top, a bottom, and perhaps a, an over piece like a jacket. So if I were to take last week's cream wide leg jeans, immediately I can start to see that all of these tops will go with them. Everything starts to work. And then if I take, for example, a cream top and I've popped an accessory on here as well, I can then start to pull in the bottom pieces and they will work with the cream top. And so on, and so on and so on. They all work with it. It doesn't have to be cream jeans. I've got a pair of cream linen trousers here. Again, it works. But what I'm saying is that you really only need to perhaps add the top, the bottom and the jacket. You don't necessarily need two bottoms to start with. Who wants two bottoms anyway? I'm trying to reduce the size of mine quite a bit. And of course then with our jacket, we can start putting that over these pieces. So this time I might put that jacket over that shirt and add those trousers. Or I might take my cream jeans and the jacket and pop that little blouse underneath them or that little blouse underneath. So I hope what you're starting to see that I haven't added much, but I've immediately got lots and lots of new outfit ideas from these pieces. Now our other option is to add perhaps navy because of course navy goes with so much. And I would do exactly the same again. So I'd add a top, I'd add a pair of trousers or a skirt and I'd add a top piece. And then this time I've got a cardigan here. So immediately you can see that if I put the navy top and cardigan with that skirt, it works. It works with the pink. I love navy and pink together. It's a great combination. It works with those. Alternatively, I could take that kind of combination and then pop the navy cardigan over the top. So I've added six pieces, six neutral pieces here, and immediately I can create, I don't know how many outfits, but literally countless outfits. Again, the cream top with that skirt and the navy cardigan. The cream top with that skirt and the navy cardigan. And of course, the other easy option to add is a pair of jeans, because of course your jeans will go with all your different tops. Plus, you can put a blazer over to smarten it up. You can put the cardigan over it to make it more casual with all of those different tops. So I hope what you're starting to see is that you don't have to have a completely neutral, boring capsule wardrobe. I like to add my personality into a capsule wardrobe. So this is the foundations really of my spring capsule wardrobe. There is more to it than this. I have got lots of other pieces. 
in there as well. But I just wanted to give you some examples here of how you can put together a wardrobe very easily just by adding in a few neutrals and not being dictated to by these people that say that your capsule wardrobe, your spring capsule wardrobe has to be all of these neutral pieces because that doesn't show us any of your personality. Now, if you are a neutral lover, then that's absolutely fine, but I would still say, add a little bit of pop of color in there. There's some beautiful colors around this season, and it's such a shame not to have either some colors or some prints that show a bit of your personality. Even if that's a print in a neutral or it's quite muted, so I hope I've given you a little bit of inspiration to look in your wardrobe and start picking pieces out of it and thinking, OK, well, I've got nothing to wear with that. But how could I make that work? It's got cream in it. It's got navy in it and it's got the green in it. So actually, I could wear it with the sweater that I've got on. I have worn it like that. But equally, I can put the cream and the navy with it. Maybe I look at this skirt, which again, I've had for a good few years now. Obviously, it's got navy in it. It has got a little bit of that brighter blue in it. So I could get a blue top that goes with this. It will then also go with both of those pair, pairs of trousers as well, as it would also go with um, the creams. And then what I might do is think about, is there a colour that I could bring in that would go with more of these pieces as well? And in my example, I'm bringing in this sort of peachy pink because it works with those trousers. It works with that skirt. So although it looks like this isn't very cohesive, actually we have got some commonality in the prints here in that a lot of them have got this peachy pink in them. So I could put pop that on together and then put that shirt on over the top as a jacket. Or where I have worn these trousers before with that shirt, I could again do it with that top and then pop that over the top as a jacket. So start looking at your prints, look at the colours that are in there, see where you might have some commonality and add in a few other colours that will pull everything together. So that was just a really quick video which gives you some ideas of how to add some personality to your wardrobe, how not to make those mistakes with building a capsule wardrobe where you create something that really isn't very interesting and that doesn't inspire you and that just really makes the problem worse because you get bored with it and you go out and you buy more pieces that don't go together. Or if you've got a wardrobe full of prints and colour, start looking at how you could just add three pieces in a neutral that will make it go so much further. Down in the description box, I am linking my ebook, which is all about creating a core capsule wardrobe, which is a capsule wardrobe with neutrals. But as I said, that is not what I'm recommending to be your whole capsule wardrobe. That's just a foundation that you can build around. Also, this month in the Capsule Wardrobe Lounge, I've put together a capsule which does contain quite a few neutrals. It has got a little bit of colour and a little bit of print in there, but I've deliberately done that because you can take that capsule and use it within your wardrobe to see wh what prints and colours you've got that you could mix and match into there. So you can use the outfits that I've created as inspiration and add your personality in there as well. So I will leave a link to the Capsule Wardrobe Lounge as well. It's had some brilliant feedback already, so thank you so much for that. The people that are in it have said that they absolutely love it. Um, so there will be lots more of that coming. Next month's capsule will be completely different and give you some more new ideas as well. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did. It all helps for me to continue making videos for you. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.